this week's bushel up uh, brandon coming to you this week we took last week off i know that was probably a welcome break for most of you uh, not having to listen to me talk about irrigation uh, i'm going to talk about it real quick uh, good job uh, i saw a lot of pivots still running through last week uh, last 10 days uh, we did catch some showers this weekend in spots and i think this crop's far enough along unless you have some later fuller soybeans uh, they could probably still use a little bit of water uh, corn wise again same thing we had some delayed planting uh, those would be the fields to watch for but the bulk of it is is over uh, everybody can take a deep breath uh, this is the time of the year where combines are starting to roll starting to see some fields open up uh, soybeans coming out some dry land crops uh, please be safe uh, it's that time of year where i know the adrenaline gets going uh, we, we get tempted to be in a rush there's still a lot of blocked intersections with corn uh, please slow down, stop at those intersections, slow down, obey all the stop signs. Uh, it's not worth getting somebody hurt and killed. Uh, we have a big enough trade territory that we always hear of, of one or two really bad accidents. Uh, we don't want that. Um, we want everybody coming home safe and sound at the end of harvest time. We want to be able to see you at our meetings and see you at our events and continue to work with you. So take it easy. Um, I know it's easy to do. Um, it always seems to impact somebody locally when, when somebody makes a mistake and blows an intersection. Uh, watch the shoulders of roads and all that as we, as we load grain trailers. Uh, a lot of things to be aware of. Uh, the railroad crossings, you name it. There's a lot of dangers out there. Uh, as well as the dangers of working around equipment. Just take it slow, be safe, know where everybody's at when you're, when you're moving forward and backwards. Uh, as for us at Owner's Acres, we've got our dryland corn and soybeans out down at Hastings. Uh, corn yields obviously better than the 25 and 35 bushel the last two years, about 115. Uh, when we looked at our soybeans, they're in that 45 to 50 range, so we'll take it. Uh, I know there's some areas like us, we only got an inch and a half of rain after July 7th, so uh, look good early. Uh, just ran out of gas late, but still uh, gave us an okay crop. Uh, I'm hearing some better numbers where the late rain happened. Uh, when we get to irrigated uh, yields, a uh, little bit all over the board so far. I don't think there's been enough taken out for me to call a trend. Uh, I think the beans are looking looking pretty positive. Uh, when we look at the corn, so-so uh, right now, I haven't heard anything great, uh, but I haven't even heard anything too terrible either, so we'll see how the irrigated corn comes out. Uh, finally, uh, we just look forward to taking your, uh, your any of your grain business. Uh, if you need have a need, uh, I know a lot of us don't like drying or, or having to take wet corn out. But as we look at the disease pressure we've got out here, uh, let's make sure uh, we're, we're looking hard and get started as soon as we can on this harvest. Uh, just looking at our dryland corn here at Aurora, um, doing some push tests. Uh, some hybrids are holding up great. Uh, we found one that was a little susceptible to cr uh, crown rot, some stock rot uh, that, that we're pushing in about every 50% uh, 50 of them were going down. So. Uh, Go check your fields, do some of that push test. It'll let you know if it's got a problem. Uh, pretty easy to push over this time of the year if there's a disease issue uh, and get that harvest done timely. Um, we'll help you with that. Um, make sure uh, you're, you're looking for solutions, uh, whether it be wet corn piles or, or hauling into an elevator a little bit and get some of that early drying. Um, big thing is we don't wanna be here in November uh, picking corn up off the ground. So uh, with that, if you have any needs, reach out to us. Uh, we look forward to getting into some more harvest and, and sharing those results to you timely and, and hearing from you as, as you get into your fields.